Today what I want to show you is how to replace the front overhead map slash interior light bulb. What we're doing it on is a Dodge Grand Caravan. Uh, the models that it and years that will work for this is both uh, 2001 all the way up to 2007. And that includes both the Dodge Grand Caravan and the Chrysler Town and Country. Uh, it's a simple repair. Just a few steps to kind of watch out for so you don't break anything. Uh, you just follow them step by step and I'll walk you through it. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to work up here using a plastic trim stick. Uh, the area we're going to work on is down here at the bottom. That's where the pivot is. Up here is where the switch is. Uh, any kind of prying up there, we could damage both the switch as well as the lens. So just getting a plastic cheap trim stick, we're going to grab up under the edge and we're going to pop it loose from its pivot and pull it out. And there's your pivots I was speaking of that we popped loose. Now here's the little finger that goes up on the switch. Now if we had been prying from up here, chances are we could have broke that. Uh, so now we've taken our time, made sure we didn't break anything. Now it's time to get to the bulb. Uh, the bulb's a little unique, kind of different than what we're used to. Uh, the bulb goes in from the bottom, not from the top. So it's nothing more than just an eighth of a turn. You pull it out. Now she's going to be a little tight where the bulb's making contact with the housing. Just take your time. Don't force it. Um, this one, it's obvious just the bulb is blown. Uh, some cases you'll find that the terminals will be partially melted, and that can affect the contacts up here on the lamp housing as well. Most times I can clean it up, they'll be okay. Worst case scenario, you got to replace the assembly. So we'll go ahead and grab our new bulb. And we'll sit it up in here, give it a turn. Here we go. Turn the switch back on, now the light's working. Alright, we'll go ahead and put the lens cover back up in here. Put the end with the lever up in here first. Line it up. Now you hear one to two snaps when the pivot engages. There you go. Now the switch works. Turn it back off. There you go. Off, on, off, on. Um, we're going to do the same repair to the other side, but no need in showing you that because it's obviously the same as this. So just take your time. Follow the steps. Uh, don't force anything, and you'll replace your bulb for next to nothing and not have to pay anybody to do it. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, stay tuned for more.